That is basically how you repair a busted slam ball. If you do have a busted slam ball, go ahead, take these steps. That way, instead of spending an additional $200 plus on another slam ball, you can spend $20 on some Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Steven here with Team Euphoric and today I've got another impromptu video for you and it's something a little bit different for you guys. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to repair a busted slam ball. A couple days ago I was doing my strongman workout and I was using a 150 pound slam ball to mimic an atlas stone and at the end of my workout I went to go push it back to its spot where I normally place it and the sand just started coming out. It just blew up right in my face and I noticed that the plug came out. So right over here, unfortunately I already fixed the one that ended up breaking. So I'm not gonna be able to do that I came up with this idea after I had already fixed it to show you guys how to fix it but this is how I did it basically when you get a slam ball it's like a basketball where it has a plug right over here I'm gonna just bring it up to the camera so you guys could actually see it but that plug right over there that is what ended up coming out and it got stuck inside of the actual slam ball so I wasn't actually able to do anything about it so all you need to do to fix this is you need to get a tubeless tire repair kit which are these strips right over here and then this little handle over here and then as an optional step you can also get some Gorilla Glue or any type of glue uh, that's just to seal the hole a little bit more and then also you're gonna need either an X-Acto knife or you could get a good pair of scissors now in terms of the actual steps, I'm gonna include some pictures in the corner right over here so you guys have a little bit of a visual representation of what exactly to do. But what you wanna do, first thing you wanna do is you wanna pump it full of air. You could get a simple hand pump and just get it to its natural size. Once you get the ball to its natural size, then what you wanna do is take these tubeless tire repair refills. These tubeless tire repair refills, they're basically these long strips they're black and all you need to do is you want to take the actual strip and you want to place it in the center of the actual handle of this tool over here. I have no idea what the hell this tool is called. I'm not a mechanic. I'm not really good when it comes to cars at all, but basically this tool right over here, you want to get the strip and you want to put it right in between this little opening right over here and you want it right in the middle. Once you have that, then what you want to do is the hole where the actual plug is supposed to go, you want to apply a pressure right at that hole and then you are going to push it directly inside until it goes all the way through. Once it goes all the way through, all you have to do is yank out the handle and the tube is going to remain stuck inside of there. Now, when I did this with the 150 pound slam ball, as soon as I put the plug in, there was no leaks. So I don't even think that you need to add any Gorilla Glue or Super Glue, but as an optional step, if you want to do it, that is something that you can do. But all you would do from there is just take your Gorilla Glue or whatever glue you have available, and you would just put it around that little circle over there to plug it up. I'm gonna include a picture of the finished product of the 150 pound slam ball that I ended up fixing. But once you've completed that, then the last step, what you want to do is take your X-Acto knife or your scissors because the tubeless tire repair refills, there's going to be a lot of excess stuff protruding out of the outside. So what you want to do is just take your scissors and you're going to chop off the edge and then that's pretty much it in terms of how to repair the actual slam ball. I right now have my slam ball resting right over there and it's going to take about 24 hours for the Gorilla Glue to solidify and harden. So my workout is tomorrow. I'm going to see how exactly it came out tomorrow, but I'm pretty confident that it's going to hold the job. And then as an additional step, if you're afraid that perhaps the glue might come out or that the tire, the, the tubeless tire repair refill may pop out as well, another optional step that you can do is take either Gorilla Tape or Duct Tape, anything like that, and then just do a wrapping one time around and you can even do a second one, a second time around like a cross shape. And then that will hold the glue and the tire, the, the tubeless tire repair refill fill in place but that is pretty much what I did there are other ways that you can do it but personally that's just the way that I found to be the most effective so step number one you fill up the slam ball with air step number two you get the tubeless tire repair kit and you end up puncturing it right inside where the original plug was supposed to go step three you pull that out step four you glue it step five this is optional you can surround it with either duct tape or gorilla tape but that is basically how you repair a busted slam ball if you do have a busted slam ball, go ahead, take these steps. That way, instead of spending an additional $200 plus on another slam ball, you can spend $20 on some glue and some tape and you're gonna have everything that you need to correct it. But that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like button so I know to make more of these types of videos in the future. And if you're either new to the channel or haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, as I will be uploading new videos every single day. That's it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you again tomorrow.